Are you looking for ways to scale or change the uh, Azure Synapse spec programmatically and automatically? And if that's the case, then you've come to the right place because I've got a video for you today using Logic App and Data Factory to change and scale Azure Synapse a SQL pool spec. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Riz Ang and I'm a data engineer with a twist. I am a data engineer working for a consultancy and I specialize in Microsoft Azure. I make videos about data engineering, Microsoft Azure or both. To give some context, in today's video, I'm just going to show you how to change or scale up or scale down Azure Synapse SQL Pool Compute. And what that looks like is if you have a Azure Synapse SQL dedicated pool created in Microsoft Azure, and you can click that and see the performance level uh, you set previously when you create this. And you typically have to choose this when you create this resource. And I chose the lowest, which is DW100C. And this video, I'm just going to show you how to change this programmatically with Logic App and, and code from Azure Data Factory. And before we start, though, there are some prereqs, uh, prerequisite to do the, to follow along. Uh, you need to have a resource group already, and obviously you need to have a Microsoft Azure account. And within the resource group. I hope you already have a, a Microsoft Azure Synapse dedicated SQL pool created. And, and yeah, I have that one already. And uh, I hope you have a logic app that you, ha you have created. And that log uh, if you want to know about what is logic app, I've got another video here uh, on the link uh, on the top right here. So feel free to click and find out a bit more what, I, what that is. And also, please also have an Azure Data Factory instance as well created. And just one last thing before we move on with the demo, make sure you you grant the Logic App uh, identity access to Azure Synapse. Uh, what that means, what I mean by that is, if you're in your Logic App, please ensure that your if you go to identity here, please make sure the status here is on, so the system design uh, user identity is on, sorry, managed identity is on, and please also make sure that you grant this logic app access to the uh, Synapse, and the way you do that, you go to the SQL server that hosts the Synapse, so I have this one called X dash SQL dash dev, if you go in there, you could Go to access control. Remember again, this is within the SQL Server access control. And within access control, you go to role assignments. And within role assignments, make sure you add role assignment and find the logic app that you have. And I have that one there I've already created, and you want to assign SQL DB contributor to that uh, logic app. So the way you find that, I just need to find my logic app here. I have two of them. Uh, this is what I'm after. You just need to click and save and assign SQL DB contributor on the SQL server. Just bear that in mind as a prerequisite. I've already had that assigned, so I'm good. Now I'm gonna show you how it works. All right. Straight on to the demo. Firstly, I'm going to show you what my logic app looks like to do to change the Synapse compute. Uh, I have this one here, XLA scale Synapse. And within here, I go to the designer. And what it's trying to do is this it's a workflow that is quite easy to follow. And just for you to know, I'm going to share the code, the JSON code, ARM template. Uh, I'll share the link down in the description below so you can just download it. You can, if you want to use that code, you can go to Logic App Code View and then basically 
replace this arm template in the logic app code view with the, the one that I'm going to share. Just copy from my file and copy paste it and save it. It will give you the same, exactly the same view here. Now, this logic app, it will trigger by a HTTP request. And when the HTTP request is triggered, is it's got a variable called service level. And I'm just going to send this, I'm just going to fill in this variable when uh, from the data factory, I'm going to, I'm just, I'm just going to assign what Synapse SQL uh, compute spec that I want to uh, scale to, right? This is a string and I'm going to use this uh, URL when I trigger this from data factory. I'll show that a little bit later. Uh, what is this doing is once this is triggered, it's going to call, it's going to run this REST API and I have a bunch of parameters here, which I will explain in a bit. And I will also have a body here, which will take in the compute spec of the, of the, um, of the, uh, this Synapse compute. And just to give an idea, this is from the HTTP request. And I have these four different parameters. Basically, I have resource group, SQL Server, subscription ID, and Synapse SQL. Yeah. And feel free to replace with your own value here because this is my value. Uh, resource group, SQL Server, subscription ID, and Synapse SQL. There are four parameters here. As you can see, it's used here to uh, replace that value. So it's not really static. So I can just make a few changes if I want to later on down the line. And this basically what is scaling Synapse SQL compute uh, in a way. And what we want to make sure to do is when it's scaling, we don't want to, uh, we don't want uh, the process to continue on. We want to wait until scaling is complete. And what that means is when, uh, when we're scaling, when we call this logic app, we want to wait until the scaling process is complete again. That's why we have the following steps here. And I have a delay here is for 30 seconds. And I have uh, a, an action here to set a new variable called finish loop, which is initially set as false. And I have a loop here called until uh, when the finish loop is, become, is equal to true. And this is a condition and and it will become true if uh, the status, I have this another REST API call that gets the status of the current uh, Azure Synapse. It is uh, also using similar similar REST API call with the, sim with the same parameters of this logic app. And the condition is if the, the status of the Synapse is online, meaning the scaling is complete, then it will change the variable to true, and then it will end this loop. Otherwise, it will continue to delay. It will delay for another 30 seconds. So we need to make sure that that scaling process is complete. Now, just one caveat here. When you're scaling that uh, as your synapse, you need to make sure that the, the synapse uh, SQL is online, not pause. So bear that in mind, okay? Now that is the step here. Uh, once the loop is ended, meaning the scaling is complete, i.e. the finished loop is true, this one is true, then it will send a response uh, back to Data Factory in this case, because Data Factory will call this Logic App, and Data Factory will re receive a response back from Logic App. Hopefully that makes sense. As I mentioned earlier, I will share the ARM template, the code view here, uh, down in the description below. And if you have any questions, let me know. Okay, now onto the data factory, which I will show you, which I will demo you how I'm gonna call Logic App from data factory. First of all, I've already got a pipeline here, uh, which has a, a, a web hook, which is why I'm gonna show you how to use it as well. Um, first of all, 
if you want, you can create a new pipeline. Or if you already have a, a pipeline, make sure you go to general within activities and you drag and drop web hook. Maybe before I go to that, make sure you have these parameters available. You don't have to, but I like to keep uh, my pipeline parameterized so it's dynamic. So I have these two uh, parameters here, logic app URL and service level. Now logic app URL will be filled in by the value uh, from the uh, logic app URL, the HTTP request here. So you take this URL and prod 07, which is my in my case, and you want to use that. I just use it as a default value just to show you for this demo. You don't have to. Uh, you can put this here or you can use it uh, when you run this pipeline, if that makes sense. Now, the service level is basically the value of the Synapse uh, spec. Uh, and we can find that information uh, by going to uh, the data warehouse, sorry, the Synapse, I keep getting mixed up data warehouse and Synapse because that's how I normally call it. Uh, if you go to is your Synapse, uh, dedicated SQL pool and go to scale, you can find this is the value that you're after basically, CW100C or CW200C, so on and so forth. 300C and etc. This is the service level that you want added in here. Just for demo, I have this DW200C. Currently, it is DW100C. So I want to add it from 100 to 200. And just to show you uh, what I've done uh, from the webhook, webhook activity, you want to insert the logic app URL parameter as the URL here, uh, method is post, and the body, you want to insert the service level, you want to send the uh, the service level information into logic app basically. And this is, it's kind of a, a, a tricky way to do this, but yeah, in order to, uh, you need to use this JSON function to send a, um, a string um, to, to, to that with the uh, with the pipeline parameter service level and there is obviously a simpler way if you want to write this uh, static you can just probably just find a JSON uh, conversion function here and you can see the uh, there's a example here sorry a bit small but there's an example here you can just type JSON without the concatenate uh, function here but you know what I'll copy down this in the description so you can just copy paste uh, this this value but what the idea is we want to send a, a, a JSON format uh, value here where service level uh, is the variable name and the value of that is the the one that you set in the pipeline parameter in the ADF which is currently is DW200C hopefully that makes sense and yeah, that's basically it. You might want to change the timeout to a bit longer in case maybe it takes a bit longer. But once you have this set up, uh, all you need to do is just call it. Yeah, and I have this value already set up and I'm just gonna, I just click debug and I just click okay just to test if it's working. Now it's running and if I go to the respective logic app that I have, you will see that it is now running. When it's running, if I go to is your Synapse SQL, it is showing status as scaling. Yeah. Now you can see the status is back from scaling to online. Now the performance level is also changed to DW200C. That's it for today's video. I hope you find this useful on how to scale up and down or down the Azure Synapse SQL dedicated pool spec. And if you like videos like this around data engineering and Microsoft Azure or both, then let me know down in the comments below. 
And if you have found a better way or different way to do this, also let me know and how you've done it. I'll be very interested to find out. And please subscribe or press like to my uh, video if you like it, obviously. And, and yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.